Hello, my name is Greg Moser, and I'm Dean of the College of Business at the University of Nevada, Reno. And it's my pleasure to be here and talk to you about the Sontag Business Plan Competition that's sponsored every year by the College of Business. The uh, Sontag Business Plan Competition was made possible through a generous gift from Rick and Susan Sontag, who uh, wanted to give students an opportunity to pursue their entrepreneurial dreams. Uh, and in so doing, they created a cash award that's awarded to the winning student team every year. And we have an opportunity to talk to some of the winners uh, of that competition over years past. And so joining me uh, today is Brian Blair, who had a company that he formed through the Sontag competition. So I just want to ask Brian, first of all, if you could tell us a little bit about your company. Sure. Thanks, Greg. Uh, so through the Sontag competition, we originally started Arigo. What Arigo was, was an Internet of Things for essentially optimizing water flow on uh, farm fields. Mm -hmm. uh, it was using radio, a lot of uh, algorithms, cloud-based computing, to try to make sure that the crops were getting just the amount of water they needed in order to save water, get more yields, and actually put the farmers in a better position year in, year out between drought years yes. and wet years, much right. like we're seeing this year. <laughs> <laughs> um, as we were going through that, we developed the whole system, uh, had it placed in the field, uh, but as we were going through the business side of it on the, um, on the market analysis, we were finding the market for the need just wasn't as great as we had thought it to be. So like every good entrepreneur, as we were looking at what we had, the way forward, uh, we started looking at different pivots we could do with the technology we had developed. Uh, what about failure? You know, one of the things that drives a lot of people is the fear of failure. Uh, and, and particularly when you get to university, because you'll have students who aren't used to failure. They've never failed at anything before. And so... Uh, how do you advise uh, people who would want to do the business plan competition or want to start their own company uh, about how to confront that risk of failure? You know, I think that the risk of failure is, is definitely a, a big deal. And I think that the reality is, is you have to be willing to be embarrassed. You have to be willing to <laughs> fail, fall right on your face mm -hmm. and get up, dust yourself off yes. and say, I, I don't care about that. I'm going to keep rolling with this idea That's because, good. you know what, I don't believe that this is a failure idea, right? Mm -hmm. And so I, I think that this actually can speak, I can speak very true to this because during the Sontag uh, competition in itself, I felt like a failure, right? Mm -hmm. I felt like there's no <laughs> way this is ever going to work. There is no way that this plan that I'm sitting here beating my head over to yes. make happen is ever, they're not going to pick me. I'm mm -hmm. not going to win. I'm mm -hmm. not going to get to the finals. Mm -hmm. And even when I got to the finals, I got to the finals, I, oh, they're not going to pick me. I got to my mm -hmm. final pitch and I fell flat on my face during my final pitch. Right. I mean, I literally was <laughs> in front of everybody and I just, I blew it. And I stopped and I was like, you know what? Let's just reset this for a second. I know that I've already said what I said. Let's just regroup this and, and okay so here's what we're actually trying to do and I, I caught myself and right in front of my the the people that I'm trying to impress with my story right I fall on my face and I just say you know what I blew it just now let me keep going and you know what just please forgive yep. me for for falling yep. on my face in front of you but I think that the real deal is 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 failure is inevitable there were definitely definitely points in time and I'm not saying they don't they don't still exist where it's like, wow, do I, you know, do I want to keep doing this? Do I, cause it, it is a lot of work. And I mean, I, I've technically been doing instantly for, for like 18 months and I've never made any money. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I've won money, but I, but I put all that towards the company, right. To right. try and, to try and get it to a point to where it can actually make money. Um, and I mean, on that note, I would just say to, to anybody else thinking of starting a company, um, to find a partner because I, I didn't do that. And it wasn't, it wasn't uh -huh. because I wanted to do it by myself. It was just kind of the reality of my situation. Like I said, I have kids. Uh -huh. um, it was kind of hard to, you know, find somebody that I trusted that much. And I was just kind of, you know, doing, just doing things and just kind of unfolded that way. But, um, those nights where you have those thoughts or those days where you're kind of like, wow, is this really worth it? It's, mm -hmm. it makes it a lot harder when it's just you having to kind yes. of, you know, I have mentors and things like that, but it's different. You know what I mean? And I, and I never really understood the value, uh, surrounding a co-founder until uh -huh. I've kind of gone through this journey on my own. And, and man, I really wish that I would have had one, you know, uh -huh. I think it would add a lot of value. So, I mean, that's just a word of advice to anybody starting, starting a company. If you have mm -hmm. a friend or you, or you know somebody, I definitely would mm -hmm. highly recommend getting that person to do it with you. Um, and one of the things we were visiting about a little bit earlier, uh, is the fact that in spite of the incredible technology that goes into this and the fact that you have an up and running business, that's really doing lots of good commercial activity. Uh, you didn't actually win the Sontag competition. Correct. 
Uh -huh. uh, we did not win the Sontag competition. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we lost to a really great team from Arrigo. Uh -huh. uh, but you know, I think that the the background that we got from really kind of fine tuned the business plan from there led us to the next three wins that we got in business competitions. Uh huh. See, that's outstanding. Yeah. It's really, really nice to hear that and to hear about those three subsequent wins in other business plan competitions around the country. Uh, you know, that makes you feel pretty good, I'm sure. Right. I think that also the application of the information that you develop when you're working with guys like Matt Westfield or things like that in the in the Sontag competition, you know, you develop a business plan that's a real business plan. And if uh -huh. you want to roll it out as a real business, you can. Uh -huh. If you're just kind of testing the water as an entrepreneur or maybe you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur and you want uh -huh. to know more about what it takes to start a business, what a great way to, to do it, and this is a lot of fun. Of course, one of the things we think distinguishes the Sontag competition among other business plan competitions is we really don't want it to be an academic exercise. We're hoping that uh, the people who choose to compete uh, ha are serious about starting a business and that we're providing some sort of a, uh, a goal for them to achieve in order to do that. But even if they don't win, we're hoping many of the companies that uh, do develop these business plans will actually give it a try. Yes, <laughs> I, it's it's a really valuable experience to go through. Not only mm -hmm. does it help you and, and force you to put your ideas down on paper and force you to write the business plan, but it also forces you to pitch to your audience. Uh -huh. And so that was a great experience as well. And, mm -hmm. um, I can remember one of my judges, I walked in and, and I gave my, at the time I think it was a seven minute presentation, and. And uh, the first judge raised his hand and said, I just wanted to tell you, you have a truly terrible business plan. Oh my gosh. But you have a great idea. Uh huh. And so to hear that kind of feedback was really good. It was uh -huh. really valuable. That's great. And hard, yeah. but valuable. <laughs> and, and that actually anticipated my follow-up question to that about, uh, you talked about the educational value of what you had received through the, through the competition, but uh, how would you use that to advise current students in the university? As you know, the Sontag competition is open to all University of Nevada students. Uh, uh, undergraduate, graduate students, uh, no matter what their major, what college they're in. But uh, what would you advise them about, uh, you know, considering entering the Sontag competition? You know, one, you're in for a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's not easy to put together a business plan. You really have to think about your strengths and your weaknesses, but that part is valuable. So, you know, getting into it, you know, not coming in with any preconceived notions of, mm -hmm. I already know the most about this. You really mm -hmm. have to be open to, there's, there's people out there that have years and years and years of experience that you can take and use to make yourself better. 